How's it going guys? My name is David aka DPJ and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you this nice little tip in making your farm for that specific Nightfall exclusive weapon or item as short as possible. This tip is kind of like well a life hack sort of thing just well a game hack but not exactly a hack more of tricking the game into increasing your chances of that specific item to drop but before we get into the video guys and the details of this crazy ass tip every month i give away a fully customizable controller to be in with a chance of winning it simply drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below more details on the giveaway at the end of the video okay now before we get into this i will add i've been farming nightfalls for weeks people and i mean weeks without a single drop from any of the Nightfalls regarding the exclusive item they offer. You guys have seen a lot of my videos on guiding you on how to kill the boss, each and every Nightfall boss, in literally a matter of seconds to make the farm more efficient as we don't want to be farming Nightfalls which take 20 minutes each. We want to get through as many of them as fast as possible, thinking the more we do, the faster we do them, the better our chances of getting these Nightfall exclusive items to drop. And with guides on killing bosses in literally seconds, that seriously helps. I have been doing this, farming every week for exclusive items and have had absolutely no luck. Yesterday that changed. A friend of mine was showing off his duty band, which is a Nightfall exclusive weapon, one I don't have yet. We got speaking about how many times he ran the Nightfall to get this drop. He told me he'd only ran it four times. I was pretty shocked as I'd run that Nightfall literally 50 times and had no luck. But he told me of something he does which seems to work wonders for him. Every week he does this and every week he has great luck in getting those exclusives. He also shared the fact that he has had 60 FAs drop in 12 Nightfalls while farming with friends. My jaw hit the ground. So what does he do to get so much luck? Well each week guys in a team of 2 or 3 he runs the Nightfalls aiming for a high score. Not nothing stupid like the shit we see in the twab, that's just excessive, but he tries to get just over halfway past that week's threshold for that week's nightfall. If the threshold is 110, he tries to get around 55 to 60k score, and to be honest that's pretty damn easy to do. So once he has hit that top score, showcased on his emblem, he then farms nightfalls using strats like mining, killing bosses in a few seconds. Now he was telling me how this has worked for him since Bungie announced Nightfalls were getting exclusive rewards. So he goes and gets a high score and then he starts farming. Well I had to try it people and so I did. This week's Nightfall is a tree of probabilities which offers the DFA. And before I actually got speaking to him I'd already ran this Nightfall about 20 times this week trying to get this hand cannon with no luck. So me and my buddy went for a high score, something we have never done, as we want these things over and done with just to get that loot. So we went for that high score, nothing stupid, multiply was about 3 times, and we got just over 60k within the tree of probabilities, which is just over half that threshold. We were happy with it, took us about 15 minutes to get it done as well. So we then set out and started farming. We ran 4 nightfalls after this point, and we ran 4 nightfalls because that's all we needed to run because within 4 Nightfalls, each lasting around 8 minutes long as we rush through them, killing the boss in a matter of seconds, we both got the DFA, yes, we both had it drop, it dropped for me on the 3rd run and it dropped for my pal on the 4th run, my pal I will add has farmed twice as much as me with no luck as well, yet after using this method we both get the weapon drop after 4 further attempts, what are the odds people? Now although I don't think anyone's actually tested this thoroughly, nor have Bungie confirmed anything. This kind of thing would kind of make sense as to why it would work. Now I'm not saying I'm some kind of programmer or anything, but we know going for high scores increases our chance of getting steady loot. I'm pretty sure Bungie confirmed that. But is the game thinking because we have that said high score on our cards that it's the default for us when running these strikes? Are we getting said or increased RNG rates due to setting a high score? Is there some kind of system in place where if a certain score is hit, increased rates occur? Definitely something's gone down people, is it a bug, is it intended, is it a glitch, I just don't know. All I know is it worked for me, it worked for my pal and it's been working for my other pal for months, there's definitely something here. Now I know some people will try this and may have to run it 10 times, 15 times, 20 times, I also know people will do this and run it once and get it. The point is it's based on RNG, a random number generator, think of it as a slot machine, spend little, get nothing. But if you keep putting money in, eventually it pays out. Is the RNG surrounding this Nightfall exclusive loot table working the same way, but instead of putting money in, putting a score in instead? I don't know people, but try it out, see what you think. It worked for me, it's worked for other people. See if it works for you. Now the Nightfall challenge card when going for a top score is your best friend. You will need to add mods on you won't normally use to increase that score multiplayer. 
also increasing power handicapped. I think we went 10 levels below what we were, which was obviously a 385. We also used a Singe, other mods selected from the list, just aiming for roughly a 3x multiplayer, and that's it. And we set off. Like I said, we didn't go crazy and kill everything because remember, I think after 15 or 16 minutes your scores start to drop. So you really want to be near the end of the nightfall at around that 13 minute mark. So do as much as you can within that time period. I mean, you can set your multiplier even higher. To be honest, at three times multiplier, we couldn't really tell the difference. So do what you feel you think is best. But yeah, guys, try it out and see if it works. I posted a picture of my DFA on Twitter and the replies were crazy. Some people farming over 200 strikes for it and had given up. Absolutely ridiculous. I say go for this, try it out. You got nothing to lose, it might just work for you. Now before we go people, I did search YouTube to see if anyone had covered this and I saw an old pal of mine speak of what was basically the same strat, Diatronic. His channel can be found linked within the video description. He speaks of the exact same strat working wonders for him and his pals. So there's definitely something here people, there really is. On that note guys, I am Ash. Remember, every single month though, I am giving away a fully customizable controller sent anywhere in the world for either PlayStation or Xbox to be in with a chance of winning it. Simply drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below and make sure you are subscribed. Follow the Gleam link linked in the top of the video description. Good luck everybody and don't forget the giveaway resets every single month so when it comes to august 1st the giveaway will reset so you will need to re-enter if you have done for last month's already and it's as simple as that guys but good luck to everybody who enters but on that note i am out i hope the video helps you out and i hope you get that exclusive item you are chasing again thanks for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one always in the Get it right.